Okay, so hold on, hold on, hold on. I have had a lot of wonky issues. Let's see if it's picking it up. No. Okay, okay. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. I got one more, one more thing. L live troubleshooting. Hello. No. Okay, well, it refuses to pick up the game audio. I'll have to figure out why eventually. I'm, I'm not sure. Anyway... What is up, everyone, and welcome back. If you hear the game, that's because it's coming directly from my tablet and not actually getting picked up by the Elgato. Dude, the Elgato's been on something else lately. <laughs> it's been on something else. It even cut out mid-summon and cut my intro and all that. Elgato's been on something else. So anyway, what is up? I'm going to reiterate everything I kind of said you guys didn't hear. So first and foremost, the Rosé banner here. I don't recommend summoning on it. Why? Because Ultra Rising banners still suck. They have not found a way to incentivize these. I think that that will come eventually. Uh, we'll, get to, we'll get to the point where they have multiple Ultras on one banner. We'll get to you know these positions. that It just takes time to get there. They got to build out an archive of these characters and stuff like that. So right now, though, this just it's no but i will say i think rose is phenomenal the the fact that he can do the three ultimates the sheer damage he does going neutral some people were mad he's green i'm like dude they can't just because gogeta exists that doesn't mean that they can forever ignore green going forward for the record i do have a little bit of an issue with like seemingly all of the, the new characters and zenkai is being green lately aside from a couple yellows basically everything's been green <laughs> I do have an issue with that, but uh, yeah, so Rose, you know, he, but he's fine. He'll, he'll be fine versus Gogeta for the most part with that neutrality. The rest of this banner is kind of whatever. I mean, there's some solid Zenkais and stuff, but the, the rest of the banner is kind of whatever. Um, but I also really like the change that they put here. Uh, it's interesting to see the, the way that they've changed the UI for summons. You know, they've put the step st stuff down at the bottom uh, a few patches ago, a few weeks ago. They moved the Zenkai stuff to just this corner, and it's like they don't even have like... Do they even have banner art anymore? Is there any? Is that, no, there's not. Is that I can show you. Anyway, uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and do our second summon here. I am not going to go any deeper than what you see here currently for Chrono Crystals for Rosé. Uh, these are 99% free Chrono Crystals from me lately. Uh, I have, I've said a while ago that, you know, around the time of 17 that I've been mostly free to play, and it's been true. Uh, the only thing I've purchased was the Battle Pass, you know, where you get the, the mission plan or whatever it is. Um, other than that, no, I'm not really spending anything. That's not really anything against the game. It's just I'm not in a position to do that. So more or less, if I do, what that means is that if I don't get Rosé, uh, I just I just won't have Rosé. It just is what it is, and I'll find other con. Oh look, I pulled a Rosé. I'll just have other content to put out for you guys. So I appreciate you guys being patient with me. I know a lot of times people are looking for the new characters, and you know I've set a standard for always getting them. But if I don't, just letting you know. Anyway, anyway, but we survived Hit, which really hurt, by the way. I really like Hit. As a character and in the game, I really like Hit. Um, uh, and I don't have Roshi either. We survived Whis and Beerus when they came out. For the most part, I get basically everything, though. So it's not like I've really struggled. Uh, I didn't get Roshi, though. I didn't get the new Roshi. I really... Also, it's funny. It's like they know I want the characters. Because <laughs> I'm not getting the ones I really want. Unless we get Super Saiyan Blue animation here, it doesn't really matter. This this animation's whatever. So the thing about the Ultra Rising banners is that the animations are mostly irrelevant. You can ignore almost all of them. Like, aside from the ones that guarantee you a new character, like, like I said, Super Saiyan Blue, of uh, not Evolution, but Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, uh, or uh, Trunks and Bardock, like that, separate animations, not together. Like, it doesn't really matter. There's also not an LF on this banner I think I need any dupes for. Maybe I need some for Trunks? But I like don't think I need any for anything else. So when it comes down, I was gonna say this guy. So when it comes down to what else is even available for me that I could use on the banners, it's gonna be some newer sparkings like that Zamasu. I really appreciate that Zamasu, because I got him one time. I got him one time and I pushed him up to six with multi Z power. Um, that's the extent I've gone to lately with my character summoning. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll appreciate that. So, like, some of the newer ones, like I said, Whis, I got recently. Um, he's not even all that new, but other 1% sparkings are cool with me. So, this is, what, the third step? I can't rem I can't recall if, if this is the third step or if this is the fourth one, because I started on the first one basically being done. Uh, anyways, anyways, let me know in the comments down below if you guys did your pulls and how they went for you. Um... And what you think about Rosé overall, whether you have him or not, what you think about Rosé, how good do you think he is? Do you think he's going to be, we don't care about this, do you think he's going to be pivotal uh, in the meta? What team do you think he'll be best on? I did a video kind of highlighting that, hey, I think 
Please stop. I did a video recently kind of highlighting that, hey, I think he'll be really, really good in several teams, obviously. Um, anytime you get a, a character that's as powerful as he is, that just kind of makes sense. But I really highlighted and spotlighted. This red background looks really nice. Really spotlighted the powerful opponent team. That was the team I kind of had my eyes on as a team for him. So it's it's unfortunate because <laughs> I, I don't have a uh, hit, and I really want to use him with hit on powerful opponent and Zimo with Zamasman hit. Um, maybe there's a couple other characters you can use, but I think that those three would be really, really powerful. Um, you got some of the best defensive and offensive mechanics on that team, so it could be really powerful and scary. Unfortunate, but okay, let's skip here. Just don't care about anything. It doesn't mean you won't get anything. It just means that they don't, like, you can ignore them. <laughs> like, on a step-up banner, maybe you'll get, like, you know, something like a, I don't know, a Nimbus or something that's useful. But, like, here, you can ignore them. And for the record, you can ignore them on every banner, technically, because they're not, they're not anything other than cosmetic. Summon animations don't mean anything. The second you press summon, the characters are already added into your account, if you didn't know. Um, some of the animations are completely cosmetic. All right, so you have the increase for ultra drops here. Hopefully we get lucky. Hopefully we get lucky. Hopefully we get lucky again. Okay. And. Okay. What is this, Dragon Fist? No, it's not. Okay, cool. <laughs> Nothing happened there. Well, can I get a useful 1% sparking again, like Whis? That would be nice. Oh, I was like, who is this? Like, which Goku? I, I almost thought it was Yellow Goku Black. Uh, I, I guess I'll take him. He's one of the newer ones. Kinda new. He's like eight, six months old, something like that. Okay. You're not new. You're a launch character. <laughs> it's, definitely don't want that. Okay. Starting to get a little nervous, you know, but I'm kind of content either way if I'm being honest like I said I really want him though. Don't get me wrong. I'm just kind of content either way And with the way that they bring back ultra banners, I I feel like I can kind of get him at any time Not really directly any time, but he'll be back in a few months and then he'll start popping up more consistently after that in a few months, that'll be about anniversary time, so maybe he's back by then. He may not be, though, because anniversary... Okay, so if anniversary is what we expect, which is Ultra Vegito Blue, he'll probably pop up back then. Not to say he'll be on the same banner, but that would be a really good time to put multiple Ultras on one banner. <laughs> um, but I think his banner will return then. Because then God Key will get another character. And... Especially if they make him red and, you know, you would need the green character too, especially if they're both melee. It just makes the most sense. Uh, like I said, no, it's kind of scary. Nope, not an ultra, okay. Broly and Chi-Li. Oh, so also we got the announcement for Trunks and Mai getting their Zenkai Awakening, which I'm, I'm really cool with. You know, they never got a chance to do anything <laughs> after they released. They never... Oh, I need to use that guy again. I haven't used him in so long. They never got a chance to do anything uh, since they got their Zen... Since they were released, right? They kind of were just DOA, man. And it's like, I don't think they were as bad as maybe... I don't think people really thought they were bad. It's just they there was no place for them. Like, I think Zamasu was there and he was just better, things like that. So you just had no need for them. Um, so that... Uh, okay, like this this banner has to have like mainly only future characters or something Both this Goku in the same spot again But like the fact I pulled them three times is really funny, but yeah, like they never got a chance so I'm excited to see their Zenkai the downside is it's very possible. They still kind of just don't really do much of anything <laughs> After a Zenkai, but you know I, after great same and one and two got their Zenkai. I thought they shot Oh, I did need a dupe here they shot up to being one of the better Zenkais, and they were definitely underrated. Uh, I, like, yeah, I, could, I feel like I could still use Great Samuel 1 and 2 with relative success right now. But I thought they were definitely underrated and didn't get enough credit for how good they were. Like, they were doing legitimate things that were powerful. 
five pods. We are dwindling down. We have this one. The next one is free, and then we'll have one more after that to conclude the video. It's actually mid-step, but I'm not going to buy the other two steps. Have a little bit left of my mission plan that should get me the next one, and I'll probably just, you know, get the final one and the free one a little later. I should buy the steps, though, on the off chance I get him. It opens videos. Speaking of Ginyu there, somebody asked me to do a Ginyu Force team. And I think I'll be revisiting that soon. If you're interested in that, let me know and also hit the thumbs up. Okay. Bardock. Coom. Garbage. Oh, that sucks to say because I really like Gotenks. We need a new Gotenks big time. I mean, the Gotenks as we have could use Zenkai's for the record. But we need a new Gotenks. Like, I would not be opposed to Boo Saga popping up in April. Like, that would be really cool if, if they just said, Oh, we're going to do Boo Saga content. It's been a while, so I wouldn't be opposed. And, like, they started building out a Boo Saga team with, like, Tien and, and Buhan. But they kind of... And they even put those Saga-based tags in there and the Z abilities, but just didn't do anything with it. And in fact, to make it worse, Tien didn't even have his Rising Rush effect for like a, a month or something. Speaking of Boo Saga and Boo, uh, yeah, he didn't have his effects. So, you know, that team never really got a chance to do anything. Tien almost didn't have a chance to do anything. Here's the final summon. Will we end in despair or get that clutch last multi? Looks like it's despair probably. All right, guys. I want to thank you all for tuning in. I don't do very many summon videos because, uh, quite frankly, I've done hundreds of them. And at, at this point, I just, you know... <laughs> I just, you know, I just, I, I don't really, I don't really have a ton to say anymore. <laughs> you know, I was talking to Nano and he's telling me that too. He's like, dude, it's kind of, it's, it's getting really hard to, to fill out the time for some video. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, it's kind of hard, man. <laughs> oh man. Um, so can we get something useful here? That would be nice. Like another Zamasu would be cool. I haven't even really got that many sparkings. It feels like. The banner doesn't have like any incentives. It doesn't have a pity or anything. Like these banners suck. Like really bad. Okay. Yeah, these banners suck really bad. Like I cannot stress enough to stay away from these banners. And I, and I would, for the record, I said it in the beginning, so I would also be saying it if I pulled the character. These banners just suck. Like they're just not good. There's no reason to pull up the oh, okay. The only reason to pull is if you like Rosé. And he's awesome. Look at the animation playing. He has the scythe and everything. So I get it. He definitely has that premium feel to him. But everything else around it just feels bad, dude. Like Ultra. And this has been the case on every single Ultra Banner. None of them have changed. They all suck. They're all garbage. Times two rates is a kick in the mouth. It doesn't really matter all that much because the rate is so damn low. It's still low anyway. Even with times two rate, the rate is still lower than pulling the new LF, right? Uh, well, it's about the Is the new LF at 0.5? I don't know. I have to go. I'm not going to look through these. Anyways, either way, the rate's still super low after. So it just, I don't know. Hopefully they, they do that sooner than later. The changes I mentioned where, you know, there's ways they can incentivize it. We will get to a point where we put two ultras on a banner. We will get there. We just need saturation of character. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. Click one of the videos on the screen before you go. And I'll see you over there.